When most people think of drivers turned commentators, they usually think of Daryl Waltrip, his brother Michael, Jeff Gorn, and Clint Boyer. The thing about this is, not all racer analysts are in the world of NASCAR, and their stories are often forgotten by most. So over the next few episodes of All IndyCar, we meet three examples of this. Today we talk about Davey Hamilton, one of the best drivers to never win an IndyCar race. So welcome back to All IndyCar, the motorsports history show looking at the world of American open wheel racing. Davey Hamilton was born June 13, 1962 in Nampa, Idaho. At the age of two, Davey caught the racing bug from his father Ken, who raced locally in Boise, Idaho and in USAC. Ken also entered three IndyCar races in 1981 and 1982, these coming at Riverside, Michigan, and Phoenix. A young Davey was infatuated with the world of IndyCar, and by 1991 he would get his first taste of IndyCar racing. Driving for Hamilgarn Racing, Davey Hamilton would attempt to qualify for the 1991 Indy 500, but he had ultimately missed the show. He would be greeted with the same result in 1993 and 1995, the only entries he ever made into kart. His stint in the Indy Racing League, however, would be a much different story. For the inaugural IRL season, Davey Hamilton signed for AJ Foyt Enterprises to be in the famous 14 car. His first season wasn't too bad, but wasn't too good either. In Davey Hamilton's rookie IRL season, he'd be classified with a 9th place points finish, despite DNFs at Walt Disney World and Phoenix. He would only finished the Indy 500 that year despite only completing 181 laps. The 1996-97 season, on the other hand, would be 10 times better. The final two races of 1996 would see improvements. New Hampshire and Las Vegas would see him get 5th and 11th respectively. A great start to the season, but when 1997 rolled around, he would hit the ground running. He would never finish worse than 7th that year, and he would only have two DNS on the year, but this would be heavily offset by three podiums at Texas, Phoenix, and Pikes Peak. He would finish runner-up in the point standings to Tony Stewart. With only one DNF to his name in 1998, Davey Hamilton would secure back-to-back runner-up finishes, but sadly it's here where the downfall of his career began. For the next two years, Davey Hamilton would race for five separate teams and lose any career stability. Entering 2001, however, things looked like they were improving. He would sign for Sam Schmidt Motorsports to drive the number 99 car. This year, however, would be remembered for all the wrong reasons. After a solid first two races of the 2001 season, his last attempt at a full season in IndyCar racing would come crashing down. Atlanta would end in a fiery crash after turn 4 for Davey Hamilton and many other drivers. Indy would also end in similar fashion. Then Texas rolled around. Oh, and we have a big time crash on the back stretch. Looks like that uh, it is Davey Hamilton involved along with Sarah Fisher. On lap 52 of the 2001 IRL Texas race, Jared Schrader lost an engine towards the exit of turn 2. Davey Hamilton tried to go around Schrader but was clipped in the rear when Schrader spun on his own oil. Hamilton then hit the concrete wall with the back of his car which then catapulted the front of the car into the catch fence. Davey Hamilton sustained serious leg injuries in the crash, so bad that doctors considered double amputation. After 23 operations to try and save his legs, they were saved, but Davey still had a long recovery ahead of him. It took five months for him to stand again, and he was in a wheelchair for over a year. Through years of rehab, however, he would make a return, but because of the extent of his injuries, he could never race on road courses or short ovals again. The years of him fighting for championships were over, but Davey Hamilton pressed on. In 2007, he would return to the IndyCar series to race in the Indy 500. He finished ninth the best finish he would ever have in his IndyCar return. By 2010, he would run more ovals in a year, starting one more oval in 2010 and four more ovals in 2011, the last of these being the tragic Las Vegas race in 2011. With the tragic loss of Dan Weldon and the introduction of the DW12 IndyCar in 2012, Davey Hamilton would never make another start in IndyCar, ending a dramatic yet successful career. Since 2003, Davey Hamilton has been a color commentator for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Radio Network. Network, a job he retains to this day. He also founded the King of the Wing Sprint Car Series in 2014. The career of Davey Hamilton is a story of triumph, turbulence, and tragedy. A respectable career that could have blossomed even more, but unfortunately we can never change the past. We can only look back on it.